Hi guys, this is Mandy from Mandy Plays, and you're gonna have to deal with just my voice for this video. Normal production of videos will resume Monday, all that jazz, but I've been kind of busy with a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and I'm going to give you my first impressions of it and really how I feel about it now. But be warned that I just really scratched the surface of this game it there's a lot of content inside so i'm not gonna go in depth or really review the game right now because of that so i'm just gonna give you my first impressions so super smash brothers ultimate is a very 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 awesome game and by that i mean it's damn near perfect and there's so much good in it that it really counteracts the, you know, cons I have about it. So it's a very, very good game and I'm enjoying it. I play for hours on end, which is probably not good. But you know what I mean. It's that kind of game that could grab you and leave you there for a lot of hours. And next thing you know, you look at your profile and that is like 300 plus hours into the game it is that kind of game we're talking about folks there's honestly a lot of content to go through to really unlock everything i feel bad for the completionist this game pretty much has what all the other games had plus more and is very awesome just by the sheer amount of content alone but the game is still awesome on its own so I would really compare it to what Smash 4 wanted to be, but this one is it. I love Smash 4, but step aside. For Smash Bros Ultimate, I think is the best way to play a Smash Brothers game. But that's just my opinion. A lot of people still like their, you know, games, but this one it honestly has it all. All the characters, a bunch of stuff. You got moves, you got training, you got a lot to work with. And I think it's going to appeal to a variety of Smash players, like the casual, the competitive, the semi-casual competitive, the just pick it up once a week kind of person. I think it will suffice for a lot of Smash audience. And that's really what Nintendo was going for, a Smash game that could hold us off for years and years for any type of player that I don't see someone really hating on it. I've heard a lot of people have problems with it, but that is not the same as people who hate on it, which I haven't seen. So let's see where that goes. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about some gripes I have with the game. It's not really in the game, but you cannot record, you know, on the Switch. It doesn't let you. To me, that's not a problem, but I've seen a lot of people like say, you know, what's up with that? And to that, I just say, wait for an update because that's what they usually do, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. And you can always watch the recap in the battle. So yeah, that's that. And my other problem is not problem, but more like kind of let down was the World of Light uh, mode in the game. Now I thought it was going to be more of a story driven uh, mode in the game, but it's really not. It's just you go around and collect the fighters and each fight has a certain parameter or rules that you have to abide to. And you pretty much get the spirits. So you go around collecting spirits, fighting the fighters so you can unlock them. It has a really cool over map, which I thought was nice. It has certain locations. Those are just my minor gripes with the game. Nothing big and nothing to kind of hate on. Or and spirit mode is fairly simple. I play on normal and I have a few challenges here and there, but other than that, it's really simple. I'm not sure how much of the map I've gotten done, but I did a lot, so that's cool. 
But other than the spare mode, classic mode is my second best. And the name says it all, it's a classic mode. You pick a character and you play with them through, I think, six or five stages and then a boss. You can pick how hard it is, how simple you want it to be. And it's just, you know, fun. And a good part is you can unlock some characters because right after there's usually a character approaching thing going on and you get your character and the music oh my god there's a lot of music i made my playlist and there's still more this is like basically a game and an album put together because the music is such a big part of the game all those familiar songs really gets me nostalgic it's awesome i am loving the game so if you like this video please give me a like and if you like my content and want to see more please hit that subscribe button i would appreciate it and tell me if you're loving the game who's your main character how far are you you know etc but please don't put spoilers because that's just rude so tell me all that in the comments down below i love hearing from you guys i hope you guys have an awesome day and play the game